so now i am going to give demo number 2 on azure okay so as discussed earlier we are, we are aware of the azure portal and what type of things we are going to use in azure now i will introduce a thing that is nothing but resource group okay what is meant by resource group resource group is nothing but group of resources which will be utilized in a project okay let's consider a client for example gsk is one of the client where we are going to work on our projects okay so gsk client will have their projects in the particular resource groups for example you can consider the resources which you are using in a project okay uh, will be come under one resource group so gsk can have multiple projects right so resource group is nothing but the project which contains the resources for example if i am using a resources of azure portal like four uh, four types of resources those four type of resources will come under project one okay after that again if you are going to use any resource to make it another project okay then the resources will be com coming under another project where the people will be working on that particular project so this project one is nothing but the resource group which is aligned with the resources that are to be used in the particular project okay so simple example is nothing but a resource group is is called as project where all the resources are involved so in portal first we need to create a resource group in which we are going to work on that particular resource so as you are aware of this how to open azure portal and all the details as this in the demo i am going to explain how to create a resource group so here itself you can find the azure services in that you can see resource group is one of the azure service okay so if you want to create a project first client or a particular person who is working on the project he need to create the resource group which involve all the resources okay so this diamond shape uh, icon is nothing but each project contains this individual resource groups now for example i am creating a resource group so when you will go to this resource group icon it will ask you to click this plus create symbol if you click on this plus create it will open on navigator tab which will be given using which a resource group will be created okay now we need to give the resource group name for example this is our free trial which we are currently working on uh, on getting the details and learnings from the azure portal but once you deployed into a project or into live scenarios then this resource group will be automatically created and it will be present in the portal itself okay if you are allowed to work on this project then your particular mail address will be given access to that particular resource group so that you can work on the resources which are involved in that particular project okay but for example now i am explaining how to create a resource group so you can give the resource group name as project 1 okay now this region is nothing but we working on okay so here you can go to review plus create and then create he so in this way you can create the resource group where you, you are going to work on a project 
okay as i mentioned in demo 1 all the resources will come under resource group okay so you can create the resources which are required for a particular project in the azure portal and you can assign that particular resource to the resource group okay now adf so adf is one of the resource of azure portal which is an etl tool to load uh, to extract the data okay transform the data and finally load the data okay so coming to our scenario if you guys uh, like wanted to explore the adf sql so that you can su easily sustain in adf technology in further purpose okay so adf is nothing but migrating the data from different sources and transforming and finally loading into the target tables in adf we have different types of activities which will be collectively called as pipeline to do etl operations so now coming to uh, adf resource here you can in search option itself you can go to data factories then here you have plus create option same way how we are generate how we are creating a resource in the same way it will ask for all the the data factory will be created based on the given details now here you can see resource group right so under which project we are working we need to give that resource group name so that all the resources which we are currently working those resources will come under that particular resource group now adf so git configuration so in adf if you are creating any work or any data related to uh, the particular project all the details will be shared uh, sorry stored in repositories like azure devops or github but as we are working on free trial we don't have access to any repository so in our free trial we will configure this git later okay so what is a repository a repository is nothing but storing the code and utilizing the code whenever it when whenever it is necessary moving the code to uh, required environments okay according to project we don't have any platform only for our development environment okay everything will be taken in further environments so in that particular process of moving code to further environments this repository methods will be used but coming to our training session we, uh, as it is a free trial we will give just brief introduction of repositories but we can't use this repositories in our free trial that's the reason we will mark this config git later okay now in this way we can create a data factory and we can give the naming and also under which resource group it should be created once we gave the create option then the adf creation will be deployment will be started and it will be in progress now go to that particular adf so once you open this adf this particular nav 
get the pan will be over and azure data factory studio and read documentation so as we are going to learn adf okay this is the option which we will select so that it will open the azure data factory application in separate portal so this is how it will open the azure data factory uh, portal here we have multiple options uh, where you can utilize these things for doing etl operations at present we will brief introduction about other tab of adf so this other tab is the tab where we are going to develop our pipelines okay to do etl operations in the azure data factory so what is a pipeline proof is for migrating data from one location to another okay so pipeline is nothing but okay group of activities in azure data factory connecting one after another based on the requirement okay for migrating data from one location to another location let's consider what is a migration of data for example if we have data in a database if you want to move the database data to files so the data is present in the database and we are like just moving the data we are just copying the data from database to different files so for this purpose we need to create the activities which are involved in the adf into a single pipeline to copy the data from database to file so these activities we will discuss but this is a brief description about the pipeline which will be used for migration of data so as i discuss now this is a adf portal where you will create your pipelines one after the other so the creation of pipelines and the description of activities which are used for migrating data and some of the details related to adf these detail, these things will be covered in further classes and that's it hello